Welcome to Market Roundup using Top Down Analysis. I am Sagan Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit, based in Singapore. Before I begin, let me go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on Superior Profit's trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual, in today's topics, I will analyze oil and gold using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. In general, when swing trading, I align my trades with the market's direction. I will study market's direction using NASDAQ and NYSE market bread and technical analysis of market ETFs. In addition to aligning the trades with market's direction, I align them with sector industry strength. I will study that using sector industry scorecard. While carrying out the top-down analysis, I look for potential trades where the fundamental, technical and industry strength or weakness are aligned. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. I begin the commodities analysis using oil, using the ETF USO. I am looking at it using weekly backdrop chart template and daily hop on or entry chart template. Together I call this at a glance template because Using this template in only a few seconds, I can decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge. In the weekly chart, oil is inside a triangle pattern. This week, it tried to go below the memory resistance but recovered and closed inside the triangle pattern. This week's backdrop candle color is bearish magenta the shape is bullish because it has a long upper tail relative performance is showing that it is underperforming the market activity was very high this week in the daily chart there are a number of memory resistance trend lines there is no support memory nearby in the daily chart, it is in a downtrend. After displaying the bearish headwind, price is going down. Earlier, after displaying the bullish headwind, price had gone up. After being oversold, price recovered somewhat. It is near the value area. If price comes down from here, giving a magenta color candle then that may signal a trend following short trade opportunity gold etf gld this week gold opened with a gap up and then continued to go up from there the weekly candle ended with a bullish shape and bullish color activity was very high in the recent weeks activity had been very high in gold in the daily chart price was inside a range this week it could break out above that at the point of breaking out it was already near the upper boundary level that was too extended to try any long trend for the last three days, price is moving sideways. 
on Friday, a bearish headwind has appeared. Friday's candle shape is also bearish. The color turned neutral. If price continues to go down from here, then it may give a very low risk shorting opportunity. That short setup will be using the bearish headwind signal and also the concept of price falling down after a doji candle at the very top. Market breadth or market internal study using NASDAQ composite index and NYSE composite index weekly charts and three pairs of internals new high low advanced decline and up down volume. I mentioned about the bearish headwinds appearing in both NASDAQ and NYSE few weeks ago. As often happens, after the bearish headwind signals, price drop. This week, NASDAQ found support at the memory trend line and went up from there. NYSE also recovered from the low. Both NASDAQ and NYSE ended with a long lower tail candle. However, the color for both remained bearish red. Because the color is bearish but the shape has lower tail, the price move is indecisive based on the broad index. The internal is bearish. All the internals except one that is new high low for NYSE ended in the negative. Overall, we can conclude that the price move is somewhat indecisive, but the internals are bearish. Market breadth was bearish to indecisive. What about the market ETFs? I am starting with S&P 500 ETF, SPY. It displayed the bearish headwind in weekly as well as daily and after that price drop. This week initially price tried to go below the weekly memory support line but recovered from there ending with a bullish shape weekly candle though the weekly candle color remains bearish that is magenta. In the daily price dropped heavily it hit the wide direction line and recovered somewhat from there. Price is still close to the lower boundary level. The weekly backdrop candle color is magenta. If next week price continues to go down, gives a magenta color candle in the daily chart that may signal a trend following go with flow short trade setup. If you look at the volume, weekly volume picked up after many weeks. Daily volume has also picked up. You will see a similar pattern in the other ETFs as well. NASDAQ ETF QQQ. We see a picture similar to SPY. Here also the bearish headwind came in both weekly and daily chart. After that price drop, this week price tried to go below the weekly memory support line but recovered strongly ending with a bullish shape candle. The weekly backdrop color remains bearish. In the daily price fell down below the lower boundary level and recovered above that. If price goes down from here, it may give a trend following short trade setup. Here also the weekly as well as the daily activity has picked up. Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF DIA. DIA also tried to go below the weekly memory support line and recovered from there ending with a bullish shape but bearish color candle. Daily went 
below the lower boundary level it was oversold then it hit the white direction line and recovered from there again if price can go down next week it may give a trend following go with flow short trade setup weekly as well as daily volume has picked up Russell 2000 ETF IWM this was the weakest of the four ETFs the relative performance is tilting downward it could not go above this memory resistance line in the weekly chart displayed a bearish color and bearish shape candle one week ago and this week it dropped here also price recovered from the low however the weekly candle ended with an indecisive shape candle unlike the bullish candles we saw in the other ETFs in the daily price went below the lower boundary level and then recovered somewhat this ETF will also give a trend following short trade setup if price goes down next week if market goes down next week which ETF will you choose to take a short trade I will choose IWM because this was and is continuing to remain the weakest of the four market ETFs here also the volume has picked up in the weekly as well as the daily charts we may gather more insight from the sector performance here I am looking at the 11 sectors across three review periods the red bar represents performance of this week green bar performance of the previous week and blue bar performance of two weeks before that any bar coming to the right of the zero line shows the sector went up and any bar coming to the left of the zero line shows the sector went down this week only real estate went up by a relatively small percentage whereas all the other sectors went down utilities went down by a small percentage but several sectors including energy communication services materials infotech industrials all non-defensive sectors they went down with large percentages that is showing that though market breadth than market ETF are showing indecision under the hood at the stock level sector level the market is bearish another look at the sector performance using scorecard and heat map here I am looking at the 11 sectors analyzing their performance over 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over recent periods of 10 day 5 day etc cyan represents strength and magenta represents weakness real estate is now the strongest sector that is the only sector that went up this week and the weakest sectors are energy communication services materials these three sectors energy communications and materials had been weak for a while you can see the magenta color score over many review periods you could probably short stocks in these sectors earlier and make significant profit from that information technology is a sector that was strong earlier it was the strongest and now it is weakening if the market continues to drop then infotech stocks may give very lucrative shorting opportunities at or near the very top of their 52 week ranges sector level like market level tends to be quite broad therefore instead of making trading decisions based on sector alone 
you may drill down into the industry level use the industry scorecard and heat map and buy into the strongest industries if you are looking for short setup you may look for shorting opportunities in the weakest industries instead of carrying out the usual top-down analysis where I drill down from the industry to stocks fundamentals and then look at technicals let me carry out the analysis in a different way today I'm starting with the stock fundamental scorecard as the market may give trend following short trade setup if it declines next week let me look for some potential short setups I am going to first look for overvalued stocks applying the smart filter these are all overvalued stocks the valuation is in magenta color next let me look for stocks that are having reducing earnings growth in the last quarter again using the smart filter now I am left with the stocks that are having reducing earnings growth in the latest quarter next I am going to sort it by one day percentage chain and select the stocks that decline the bold case represents the bottom 20% let me select only those stocks and transfer the stocks to Q Elite in trade station I have dropped the stocks in Q Sonar that is radar in trade station you can see the cells are mostly filled up with red color showing that these stocks are weak or bearish several of them went down with significant percentages using this sonar dashboard you can know a lot about the stocks even before you look at their charts for example if you look at HQY the stock opened with a significant down move 7.2 percent down and then went down further it closed 8.9 percent below previous days close it is giving a possible breakout trade setup the flow candle color is also bearish it went down with heavy pressure activity is very high the rear column is showing that it is below both the slow as well as the very slow direction lines relative performance is showing it is underperforming the market and the option percentile is showing that option volatility is in the middle is neither at extreme high nor at extreme low let's look at another stock MNST this stock open 4% below previous day's close and then went down further ended the day 4.7% below previous day's close the daily flow candle color is bearish it is displaying extreme bearish pressure and extreme pressure U-turn it is in between the slow and very slow direction lines it is below the lower boundary level here the option volatility is low both of these may give low risk shorting opportunities next week let me analyze them using the Q charts HQY using at a glance weekly daily chart template the sonar showed that it may give a breakout short candidate indeed it is breaking below this memory support trend line it dropped with extreme bearish pressure with high activity we have a magenta color flow candle in the daily chart with lower high and lower low 
the weekly candle color is bearish the shape is also bearish that is giving both a breakout short trade setup as well as a trend following go with flow short trade setup as of friday's close mnst this is the other stock we analyzed in sonar it is having bearish flow color in the daily chart it came down with extreme bearish pressure and bearish pressure u turn the weekly candle color is bearish magenta however the shape is mixed it has a long lower tail and price could close above the weekly memory support line in the daily we have lower high and lower low the weekly backdrop candle color is magenta therefore if price continues to go down next week you may consider taking a short trade keeping an eye at the weekly memory support level to see if price can go below that if you want to short one of these two stocks hqy and mnst hqy is probably a better candidate because it has no memory support in weekly or daily what did i do to identify these trading opportunities i started with the stock scorecard applied the smart filters to look for overvalued stocks with reducing earnings growth looked for stocks that went down on friday selected the 20% bottom performers looked at them using q sonar dashboard and further analyzed the stocks using q charts applied the unambiguous trade checklist that we have to identify potential shorting candidates the last step would be to check if their industries are either weak or weakening let me start with hqy it is in managed healthcare industry in healthcare sector the managed healthcare industry is neither weak nor strong its five day score is in between magenta and cyan however if you look at the pace columns you can see that over two day period and also over five day period it is decelerating you may get some of the best shorting candidates if you can identify industries that were stronger earlier and are decelerating now managed healthcare seems to be one such industry therefore hqy is in a weakening industry with weak fundamentals overvalued stock reducing earnings growth and it dropped on friday giving a q short trade setup the other stock was mnst in soft drinks industry in consumer staple sector let's check out the soft drinks industry this industry is also not weak in fact five day score is quite bullish however the base column is showing that it is also decelerating decelerating heavily one of the most decelerating industries over two day period if i open up the scorecard over two day and one day period you can see its score has deteriorated significantly therefore we found the stock mnst that is in an industry that is weakening the stock itself is overvalued stock with reducing earnings growth and this also gave a q trade setup on friday let me summarize the market indices were mixed the market internals new high low advanced decline up down volume that was bearish the market etfs weekly candle color is bearish however the shapes are mostly bullish 
those are showing indecision what about the sectors sectors are giving more clarity it is showing clear bearishness using q360 degrees technique where you align the forces from sector industry level with fundamental level with technical level whatever be the market condition you are able to find low risk high probability swing trades as we did today as well that is all that i plan to share in today's session thank you for attending i look forward to seeing you in my next session have a great week and trade profitably